what's going on everybody so in today's video i'm bringing you guys a little discussion topic here and i'll be honest with you guys this discussion topic came from me building my hero deck and that was how good is harpy's feather duster for the current meta so in this video i'm going to talk about the pros and cons of harpy feather duster in the current meta and let you guys know if you guys are running in your deck and if you guys are new here i would invite for you guys to subscribe for more Yu-Gi-Oh content i'm uploading at least three videos a week so with all that being said let's get into it without further ado let's begin ice on my wrist looking kind of cool bad bitch with me she ain't trying to move nigga staring at me what you trying to do got me looking at my watch and it's time to Starting off by saying, Harpy's Feather Duster. Normal spell card, destroy all spell and traps on your opponent's board. Now, at first glance, the card seems broken. A little bit of Yu Gi Oh! history. Back in the day, Feather Duster, Regeki, Dark Hole, in some cases, Fisher, and cards like Smashing Ground were all considered staples. They were very simplified effects. Smashing Ground destroyed highest defense, Fisher destroyed lowest attack, Regaki destroyed all monsters, Harvey's Feather Duster destroyed all back row. Heck, we even have Heavy Storm destroy both players' back row. But that was about, let's say, 15 or so odd years ago when those cards were at their peak. Nowadays in 2020, cards like Smashing Ground and Fisher have been way power creep just by your everyday monster effects. Just like, for example, Gizme. Monster, you can bring him out, banish top eight, use his effect, banish um, your extra deck, pop a card. Why would you run cards like that? And that comes in a card place with cards like Regeki and Feather Duster. Now, you're always gonna have Yu-Gi-Oh! people like myself who've been playing the game for about 18 years or more who remember when those, these cards were at their peak and still try to run them in modern decks. And for good reason. For Geki, it can just win you games out of nowhere. You play it, destroy your opponent's monsters, and win the game. Same thing with Feather Duster. If you're playing so that random guy running Alter Geist or somebody who's still running heavy back row, maybe a Solomon Gray player, you can, may just be able to go ahead and get rid of all their back row and come back and win. But the fact of the matter is, the card is lacking in the current meta. Mainly because it's not a quick play. In the current meta of Yu-Gi-Oh, things are way too fast. Things, the game is played sped up. It's a reason why players do not run Regeki anymore. The current meta of Yu-Gi-Oh is essentially, in a nutshell, break my board or bust. Now, for you guys that do not know what I mean by break my board or bust, I mean, in short, pretty much whoever goes first have a big advantage. Most players are making decks that can utilize one to two to three sometimes five negates on the field in one turn which is what they want to do going first and going second most people want to otk so with that being said most players are spamming fields with monsters that say negate infernal knights for example you bring it their main boss monster he negates by sending a equipped spell from the field to the graveyard they spam out that dragon synchro monster that just negates any card effect a lot of decks can spam these cards out in different forms or fashion, and they don't even utilize their back row because their monster effects acts as the back row because their monster effects essentially is doing the same thing like cards like Solemn Judgment and Solemn Warning did five or eight years ago. And also, not to mention, the back row cards that players are do running are typically quick play spells. A great example is Forbidden Droplets. Forbidden Droplets, quick play spell, activate it, negate half of your opponent's board, depending on the number of cards you just got out of your hand. And it also has an attack modifier, meaning it allows you to use it during a damage spell. These type of cards that people are running nowadays, Feather Duster does not hit it. If Feather Duster was chainable, like if it was a quick play, bro, the card would be all over the place. I think it'll be a staple. Heck, the card probably banned. Can you imagine a setting Feather Duster? Your opponent set some back row or play their field spell pass in phase, blow up everything, and just go off? I can, and that would be amazing. Currently in the LCG, Feather Duster, I want to say for the past couple of medals, has been off balance. And I've been following, I follow the LCG from time to time. I don't really talk about it on this channel 
because OCG and TCG is fairly different. And the two, in my personal opinion, while they used to be able to coincide now, back in the day, nowadays, the metals are just too different. You can't really compare the two. They're like apples and oranges, while similar, very different. I noticed a trend of every, in the beginning, everyone was running Feather Duster, just like when Regeki came off the list in America, everyone was running Regeki. And then now it's like this, meaning players, they're still running it, they're still topping it in their main deck, but some players are not main decking the Feather Duster. A lot of players I see in the OCG is side decking it, and that's because the OCG, while their meta is really different, for right now, it's very similar to the TCG in a sense where everyone is running break my border bust type of fields with no back row or limited back row that's chainable. And cards like Feather Duster just aren't that good against that type of back row. Yeah, it can help you bait out stuff, but let's face the fact, would you rather have a card like Feather Duster to bait out stuff? Or would you rather have a card like Cosmic Cyclone, for example, that not only hits the back row, and banishes the back row, it can utilize you later in the game against spell cards that are just blatantly activated. A great example, one of my favorite interactions of card with cards like Cosmic Cyclone is versus the Shadow matchup, or when someone is splashing the Shadow engine, they activate Shadow Fusion. You can chain your Cosmic Cyclone targeting the Shadow Fusion, and while the Shadow Fusion still resolves, it banishes, meaning when their Shadow window dies, or when one of their other shadow monster goes to the graveyard, they're not able to recycle it because it's banished. Things like Feather Duster just don't have that playability in the current meta. In my personal opinion, man, and all honestly, Feather Duster is a side deck card. It's a card that we're only really gonna see sided in for the Ultra Guys matchup. And if you pair that with things like, I can't think of the name right now, the trap that, it's like a quick play trap that, not quick play trap, what am I saying? The counter trap that negates all traps that you can activate from your hand. I have a picture on the screen. I can't remember Yu-Gi-Oh card names. I'm not a freaking Yu-Gi-Oh genius. But with that being said, um, I just think it's going to see a big trend like it was in the LCG where people were excited. They came off the ban list. Everyone's rushing to buy it, which is the reason why the card is like 45 to 50 bucks right now. Then once everything settles, it's going to sit at like 20 bucks. But I think Feather Duster is kind of different, mainly because there's a lot of printing of that card. I think there's like multiple different varieties and rarities of the card because I think at the time when Konami was overprinting this card, they did not expect to take it off the ban list so soon. And I, I see people with binders of different rarities of the card, so it shouldn't be that hard to grab. So in closing, man, you guys can main deck the card if you want to. It may just work in your main deck. Heck, it may just work at your locals. But the fact of the matter is, with the current meta right now, the card is better used in the side deck for decks like Ultra Guys and that random guy that wants to play something different that's using a lot of back row versus the main deck where most of the time you're going to draw it later in the game where it's useless. And then other times when you open it up, the opponent might not be playing a deck that is good against anyway. So post your thoughts and opinions about this card in the comment section down below. Like the video if you're new here and subscribe for more. This is your boy Rogue Hero and I'm signing out. Peace and stay innovative. Deuces. Have a good day. Are you guys going to run Feather Duster? Let me know.